Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just a little bit chilled out. I'm sat down in the living room with a blanket on and I hope you don't mind that. I just wanna get comfortable. Um, today I'm gonna show you exactly how I make my vanilla cake. I use this cake and variations of this recipe for all of my layer cakes. So I thought it'd be good to show you guys so you know what cake I'm using when I'm doing my layer cake so you can hopefully go along with me when I'm making them as well. So I'm gonna go straight into the video. So before we do anything, we're gonna preheat our oven to 170 degrees centigrade. I'm not sure that is in Fahrenheit, but I'll find out on Google and I'll put that in the description box below for you guys. So for this recipe, you're gonna be needing some butter, some sugar, eggs, egg whites, some plain flour, and in that flour, I've also got some baking powder and some salt some milk at room temperature, and some vanilla extract. And if you wanna know all of the measurements for these ingredients, make sure you check out the description box below. I'm gonna put my butter, my sugar, and my vanilla in the mixing bowl, and I'm gonna start beating that together and creaming it. And you might be thinking to yourself, like, like why are you using a whisk attachment? If you're gonna be like making a cake, you should be using a paddle attachment. It doesn't really matter what you use, I find that like, using both doesn't really make any difference for me. Just today I'm using a whisk attachment, so I hope that isn't too off-putting for you guys. You're going to beat this for about five minutes, and this is going to be a creamed cake. A creamed cake is when you beat the sugar and the, and the butter together, and that sugar basically is like punching holes into that sugar, and that creates nice little air pockets which makes your cake nice and fluffy. So you're looking for it to be nice and combined, but not totally white. If it's gone white, then you've kind of gone a little bit too far and you can over cream, despite what some people may tell you. So once I've got to that stage, I'm gonna start adding my eggs in one at a time on a medium speed. The reason why I'm going in there one at a time is because if you put them all in at once, it'll just sort of split your mixture. And once that mixture splits, you've broken the like, emulsification. Is emulsification even a word? I think so. It's not emulsifying anymore basically and so you're not incorporating any more air into your mixture and that's not going to help your cake to rise. You want your cake to be nice and airy so it rises up, you have a really lovely crumb and it's super fluffy. And then finally I'm going to put in my egg yolks and put them all in there at once. The reason why I really love this recipe is because if you've not really like seen my channel, you'll know that I use a lot of egg whites when I'm making meringues, macaroons, buttercream. I use a ton of egg whites. So this recipe is really economical for me. The egg yolks just add that an extra little bit of moisture and richness to your cake and an extra lovely bit of color as well. And I can just keep those egg whites to the side for when I'm gonna use them. So now it's time to start adding in your milk and your flour. So I add in a third of my flour. It doesn't have to be exact. And I'm gonna mix it in on a, on a low speed at first. And then I'm gonna put in half of my room temperature milk. I'm gonna put in my other third of my flour, mix that in. And then finally I'm gonna put in my last half of my milk and then my last third of my flour. And as you can see, this mixture is nice and smooth and it's ready to go in my cake pans. This recipe is enough for two six inch cake rounds. I've got two of them and how I line them is really, really easy. I just get a little bit of oil on a pastry brush and I go around the sides first and then the bottom. I only usually line the bottom of this pan. I just get a, a square or a rectangle of parchment paper, fold it in half, fold it in half again, and again, and again. And then I have a nice little sort of triangle point thing. I just get my, that point to the centre of that cake pan, make a little mark where I'm gonna cut with my thumb, and then I just cut around that, 
and when you open it up, it should technically be the perfect size for your cake pan. And I just put that straight in there. I'm now going to divide my cake batter as evenly as possible and then this is a little tip for you guys. If you've ever had a cake that you've done absolutely everything correct with, you've got it at the right temperature, you've mixed it correctly, everything's gone perfectly and then all of a sudden you put it in the oven and it's baking and it sort of dips inwards and you'd have no idea why. It might be because you have a little bit too much air in there and the best way to make sure that doesn't happen is to get your palette knife or whatever knife you're using make a few slashes in them and then give it a couple of firm bangs on your table and that's going to release any of the excess air that you don't want in your cake. So once I've done that I'm going to pop that straight into the oven and I'm going to bake them for about 45 to 50 minutes and you'll know your cake's done if you sort of when you give it a very light tap and it springs backwards. And that's how I make my vanilla cake nice and fluffy and really moist and just super delicious. I know this recipe doesn't make for the most exciting video, but you're going to need to know this recipe for some of the really fun content that I've got coming up. If you like this recipe and you like this video, make sure you give me a like and subscribe. The buttons for them are just down there somewhere. And share it with your friends if you think they like it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. So until then, take care and bye.